Nice. So then when this intro comes up, Tom's yes. gonna cut in us being like, "Hi, blues girlfriend." Once you bidet, you never make it go away. <laughs> once you once you go wet, you know you're set. Wow. Wow. Once you once you go bidet, you'll <laughs> you'll have an amazing day. Oh, yes, there you go. Once you go, <laughs> once you feel the spring, oh, yes. so fresh, so clean. Welcome back, everybody. Breaking Bad again, season three, episode. This is ten, right? Yes. yes. Episode yes. 10. Intro is me, go. Kevin. Tom's over there. You got Katie and you got Blue. And Tom, last episode, what happened? Uh, the episode opens with uh, Jesse and Walt packaging up totes of meth. It shows the process of hiding the meth in the chicken batter. Then it shows the Los Poyos Hermanos trucks driving out, uh, taking them all around the surrounding states. Um, Jesse brings up how he thinks they're getting ripped off, and Gus is getting the large majority of the money. Uh, Marie talks to the doctors if Hank will walk again, and she's told to manage her expectations. And she argues that if they need to go out of network for physical therapy and recovery, that they will, even though she's warned that it could bankrupt them. Um, Saul explains to Jesse why he needs to launder his money, and Jesse's not having it. He doesn't want to pay taxes because he's a criminal. <laughs> shows his kind of... Uh, Immature thinking and bad boy. Yeah. Um, yeah tisk, tisk, Jesse. Walt confronts Gus about saving him from the cousin. Says he owes Gus his life and also says he respects the strategy. Um, Jesse talks to Skinny and Badger about starting to sell meth again, selling meth that Jesse skims off the top of Gus's product when he's cooking. Uh, they try to sell it at uh, Jesse's recovery meetings. Oh, which is kind of fucked up. <laughs> but, super uh, fucked up. Uh, and then at the end, Skyler makes up a lie and tells Marie that Walt, they have tons of money because Walt has a gambling habit and uh, Walt, with his awesome ego, actually tells her that it's in, uh, was it seven digits? Yeah. yeah seven figures, said? yeah. Seven figures? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the episode ends. Well, with Skyler then, like, talking to Walt and right at the end there, like, it seemed like it, we were supposed to be led to believe at least i was led to believe because i'm an idiot that she was like becoming attracted to walt and then she drops that bombshell out of him on the end uh, like nope you literally said they were, they're gonna bang what are they gonna bang yes yeah, so i was like oh they're gonna bang oh they're gonna bang, <laughs> oh, they're gonna bang. <laughs> she bang she bang okay anyways well, real bang. quick womp, too womp. from the comments i just want to say um Skittles is like the nicest, so a little shout out to him, like yes. our personal hype man, always <laughs> with like something really nice to say. So, just before we get started, yeah, thank always. you, Skittles, for yeah, following love, us love, like, through yeah. all of Cocaine Bear. Even <laughs> I so, can't believe like, you he want. stuck we it through talk Cocaine, about Bear. cocaine Bear. That <laughs> alone, we don't uh, talk about Cocaine Bear. <laughs> win him a cookie or two because. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was. Thank God we didn't release Barbie. <laughs> well, yeah, we we reacted yeah, to Barbie. Yeah. So. That would have been the yeah. next cocaine we bear. We uh, <laughs> now people are gonna want us to post no. it. I don't, I, I you don't deleted think so. it anyway. Hey. You tommed it. If you, you want us to post it, it. I deleted it. I have not deleted it. <laughs> if you uh, want maybe. us to post it, drop a comment. I should probably delete it before this episode posts comment. because people are gonna. We like, I would need to do a follow up video <laughs> to that. That we couldn't. Uh, that <laughs> you're just making people want to see it more. Maybe in the future we make just... we make like a vault, and like if we have like the fancy YouTube like <laughs> subscriber or whatever it is, the freaking subscriptions or we'll whatever the paid the stuff content. is, <laughs> right? right? Like that oh. nobody asked for. <laughs> the That's deep smart. cuts. The very the, the untold cool. stories of garbage react. Deep festering <laughs> cuts. It'll be like uh, what was what did VH1 do with the uh, true Hollywood stories or something? Was that VH1? Was it behind the music? 
Behind the music, yeah, the behind uh, the music pop up video, <laughs> like behind the behind the reactions, behind the reactions, like Barbie. when we were up and coming. <clears throat> oh yeah, because that'll actually Barbie, happen. Like, we we just, rewind, we rewind season one, episode one of uh, uh, of the Last of Us. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> right? Like, oh my god! Right, we, if you go back and watch some of that, so oh bad. my god, it's so bad. <laughs> And the comments so are way too good. hilarious. We've grown. We've learned. We a, li- have, yes. a, yeah. a little. A little. Yeah. Thanks anyway. to you. Well, thanks, like, to thanks you. Skittles like, and everyone else yeah. for, yes. for yes. following us through this garbage. We appreciate you. Thank you. Enjoy the trash. Are we We're ready? ready. <laughs> We're ready. All right. Yes. Three, two, one. B- 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 garbage. A bee or a fly? It's a fly or a butterfly. It's a fly. It's like a fly, and flies are freaking disgusting. I don't know why they exist, to be honest. Flies? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure they have some. Sort I don't of like parasites. Purpose. That's the only In thing. Ecosystem. I could just go bye bye. I love how you said the uh, Kevin trash, b- 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 uh, or did you say garbage? garbage and then yeah, instead the, of bam. Then, yeah, and then <laughs> it's nice. He's not uh, happy, huh? Well, you remember you did the little head on. Yeah, the the car me. the car incident. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> and water boys, you know. What's with the POV things uh, this episode? Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. I don't understand. What? These numbers, they just don't. Ah, uh, skimming. Oh, the dude's totally boning us. He's what? Nah, it's oh, it's, it's, it's about Jesse's. Yeah. Our output. We're off. Yeah. 0.14 percent off. What about the uh, the other one? The drops. Like on um. Like on the like cold beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I love Jesse, but I do miss the other guy. Oh, what about the, the crap that gets left behind? Yes. You know, all the gunk we scrape out of the vats. I add up like a gallon. Each, did you work that in? Vestiges. Yeah, vestiges. <laughs> Bet that's it. Well, Jesse's being manipulative. Hmm. He learned from the best. I think he's gonna figure it out. <clears throat> I think in the end, he will figure it out. Yeah, eventually. How did that fly get in here? That's how he's gonna think. <laughs> Meth, you could <laughs> meth bugs. Okay, well, it's the name of no, the... No, that's Cap. Get it? No, he can't get it. Flies yeah, they, really you know, no, no way. There's no way. My, my... Like, I hate flies. I can't even kill any any of them. A fun fact, flies sense the movement of particles around them to sense danger. <laughs> that's me. That's so me. I swear, that's so me. Especially in, in the summer. Oh my god. On my ear, bro, at night. Is that a mosquito? We have stink bugs. No, no, Carry it's either one of those flying flies. around oh, in the middle of the night. It's, it's the worst. It's the worst sound. Because they just land in your hair. <laughs> oh. He's going to accidentally break something? Dude, let it go. You gotta wait for the right moment. <laughs> oh, you missed again. Oh, <laughs> bro, I swear that's so me. Oh, Gus has probably got cameras in there, and he's like, "What the fuck?" Way to go. Good work. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now his shoe is gone. <laughs> He's gonna cut his foot open on a piece of glass. <laughs> it's like the pizza on the roof. Uh-oh. Oh, is there gonna actually be glass in the meth? Oh no. Oh no. Um. This is definitely not OSHA compliant. He's not. He's breaking so many rules. 
the hard way right now. No pole dance. <laughs> I can't catch you. Ah, oh, there's the flag. Don't try to whack it. Go get get back behind the railing. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm enjoying this episode so much? Oh, see, yep. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. He's still there, is it the next morning? The next morning and he's still there? Is that weed? I thought Jesse was on sobriety. Is that the Jane's... Uh, Might be all oh, that's Jane's oh. cigarette. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Positive pressure. Ah. Uh. Positive what? This is how uh, we're trying uh, to kill the fucking fly. kills, Joe. Well, just <laughs> <the door around. laughs> Maybe. I am moving around, all right? It's not He's trying to kill the fly the entire time. Like such a baby. Ah. Uh, tell us that. This. Is, uh, I made it. I swear. <laughs> made the weapon. Since exactly. What kind of contaminant are we dealing with here? Like, what do you mean? I mean, a fly, a house fly. Dude, you scared the shit. <laughs> when we say contamination, I mean, I'm thinking like a like an Ebola leak or something. Ebola. <laughs> yeah, it's a disease on the Discovery Channel where all your intestines sort of just slip right out of your butt. Thank you. I know what Ebola. Uh -huh. Now tell me, what would a West African virus be doing in our lab? It was an analogy, so bro. You're you didn't happen to maybe try our product, did you? <laughs> Jesse, I know this seems unusual to you, a layman. A fly, I get it, seems insignificant, right? But trust me, in a highly controlled environment such as this, any pollutant, the sound, no matter how small. Oh, he saw it, yeah. The batch will be good for nothing if we don't clear the contaminant. Clear the contaminant. We're making meth here. All right, not space shuttles. We're making nothing until we catch this fly. <laughs> what fly? All right, where the hell is this fly? Look, I like making cherry uh, products, but let's <clears throat> keep it real. All right, we, we make poison for people who don't care. Why don't you? All right, we probably have the most unpicky customers in the world. Why don't you get some food? Rationalizing. Bring some food in. Go order takeout. Yeah. Fly will probably show up. Huh? Pig lips and assholes. But I say, hey, have at it, bitches, because I love hot dogs. And, uh, you know, see what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. <clears throat> but let me just. <laughs> All right, really quick. You know, a little, little sodium hydroxide, shut the lid, no harm done, then we're golden. Stays closed. <laughs> That's an order. You can't order shit, Adolf. All right, we're 50 50 partners. Remember? What is it from? Freaking psycho. No, it wasn't on, Jesse. Oh, uh, it's oh. on the whole time. Oh. <laughs> is he going to whack him? Yes, hopefully. Oh, is he gonna like him? Hit it. <laughs> Just... Hit it. <laughs> you want me to get it? Oh, he's gonna he's, he's gonna punch him. Look, look at look at the uh, hand on the on the on the equipment next to him. The smack. <laughs> slowly. You gotta be slow and get close and then move, not from far away. Make it count. <laughs> I'm gonna make it count. <laughs> He's got, Walt's gonna move and then he's gonna hit the container. Oh my god! <laughs> you like that? Did he get it? 
it's uh, uh right there look look see i told you i got it this is a raisin <laughs> Look, what I definitely it? got it, man. Right. It's gonna land on Jesse's face. Oh, wait, wait. do you have your keys? Yeah. You sure? Last thing we need is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> You're not gonna help me. Stay out of my way. <laughs> Cut the power right as he's about he's to get to get fly. It, yeah. The lights are going to turn off. There <laughs> we go. Oh. <laughs> Say goodnight. <laughs> Bro, that's so right. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Yeah, sleeping pills. Yeah. Like over the counter stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of them too. Like Benadryl. Just, uh, leave them be. The traps do the work. Or that other one, I forget what it's called. Are supposed to they would ass. not be dissolved that quickly. <laughs> Just be Doxilin chunks in there. Or something. Catch. Was the night Jane died? Uh oh. Was Walsh well drugged? Me in conversation. He's a complete stranger. But it, but he turns out to be Jane's father. What's he talking about? Oh. Water on Mars. Family. What about family? I told him that I had a daughter, and he told me he had one, too. And he said, never give up on family. And I didn't. Not in I knew he wasn't. Chaos. <clears throat> nope. It's when on the very night that this man's daughter dies, it's me who's Having a drink with him. The killer of his daughter. How can that be random? That night. I should never have left home. Mm. Never gone to your house. Oh. Uh. Yep, just like he revealed the second phone to Skylar. Well, maybe things would have. Skyler and Holly were in another room. I could hear them on the baby monitor. She was singing a lullaby. Oh. Oh, if I had just lived right up to that moment. And not one second more. <clears throat> Dude, you did not need to put a GoPro on the fly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. I'm sorry about Jane. Me too. I mean, I, I'm very sorry. It's not your fault. Oh. It's, it's not mine either. It's no one's fault. I miss her though. Is he gonna fall? He's probably gonna whack him. <laughs> oh, he did get it. Oh, he did get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna have the confession. Uh, it was close. It was, yeah.
And, it was good. and now Jesse's going to cook himself, and it's going to be a good product. I couldn't chance saying it inside. For all I know, the lab's wired for sound. Now, I'm not accusing you. <laughs> but if. You understand? And if they ever found out. <laughs> I'm just saying that I won't be able to protect you. Who's asking you to? He's like, I am because I love you. <clears throat> I know. Does the fly have any cousins? And they're gonna come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least, the, at least, not Hank that can the oh, fly. God. It's a fly. <laughs> oh, stop. oh, that's no, no. I think I think that's from his brain. Oh yeah. Oh like maybe. Yeah. He's dreaming about it. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's or no. Maybe. I think it's yeah, yeah. It's a dream. Hmm. Do I don't know. There's the, some. There's some. S there's significance there. Some symbolism. Do you yeah, think the I'm cancer is back? I need to think on it. Is the cancer <clears throat> back? I, I mean, um, like, or maybe it's just like him being. Uh, uh, what do we say? Um, so. Yep. Yeah, so that was a like when that came out that was super controversial. Yeah. Episode half half of everybody absolutely hated it. It doesn't push the plot forward, la da 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 da. Uh but others are No, it was they talk it about gave how me, symbolic it was and it's not about the fly, it's you know Well it gave me telltale heart vibes. Like just how it was driving Walt mad i i wish i knew more about that p like i i after the how the fall of the house of usher i should have read it already but um I feel like it definitely reminded me of what my perception of the telltale heart is like it was just his guilt i think is just <clears throat> getting to him maybe? causing him maybe to go he's... mad yeah in a way because i just think like you can't have that level of stress no matter how much he brings it on himself or how much we want to blame him for everything or whatever like it's still like you know i think he's he loves his wife his family you know not as much as he loves himself but he he does love them you know mm -hmm. yeah. and i just think that maybe this was like a moment where it was kind of like all catching up to him like jane you know, the guilt of all the things that he's done, I don't think it's long lived or whatever, but this episode maybe seemed to be showing that, you know, they've been kind of making Walt out to seem like he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. And it seems like this episode was really showing like the emotional and psychological toll that all of this is having on him. Maybe, maybe. he turns it around and maybe he becomes. <clears throat> I, I have a confession. A, a force of good. Uh oh. Yeah, I no like my um, before we started doing this, um, I overheard my friends before we started reacting to the series. I, better I, not be a spoiler, blue. No, no, no. It's about this episode. They were <laughs> like, uh, "There's an episode about a fly," and nope. and they were like, they they were and they started arguing. I'm like, I don't want to listen because I in in the future I want to watch the. Uh, the series and here we are but like they were they were all about like how it's like one of them was saying it's it's not uh like why why is, does it, this episode even exist because if you some someone's saying if you remove the episode it won't affect the uh the series as a whole and uh, others were like yeah but Kinda it's like, like episode three of the last of it <laughs> moving I on i think it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. No, they they did. They 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 grabbed the car batteries. No, that was good. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. So I was like, uh, no, like, uh, listen. I think that as uh, 
I think Kevin or Katie, I, I can't remember who pointed it out, but like it's a comic relief. But but it it was kind bit. of it was like kind start. of uh, emotionally like emotionally feeling like it's by the way it's the first episode where we only get uh Gus uh, I mean uh, Walt and uh, Jesse no like only Walt and Jesse the whole episode no that was pretty much the entire yeah. characters the whole time yeah so uh, and the focus was really on the the like it's I I thought it was like kind of a recap. Like you know, don't forget that Walt was the reason that Jane died, and and he he still like feels guilty about it, drugged or not, but he he still thinks about it, you know. So yeah, it's in the back of his mind. Like he so he so he knows he he sorry, it's, 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 he's not he understands that the things that are here he's doing is causing problems. To the people mm-hmm. in his life that he cares about. Yeah. Will he change because of that? I, I mean, that. I would say a, a good person would change. A selfish person mm-hmm. will not. Mm-hmm. But he may. Like with, with, with rehab and drugs, the first first part of solving your problem is accepting that you have a problem. So is, yeah. is 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 Walt going to accept that he has a problem, like a, I guess a, a selfish problem, or a, a, a way that he went about solving this problem caused an incredible amount of harm to a lot of people, and especially people he cares about. <clears throat> Will he change? Is that the point of this episode? Is it a pivotal episode where it shows change in in Walt's character arc? I guess that remains to be seen. So when this first came out, uh, I did a little research on it. And excuse me, <laughs> did, did you get drugged too? Oh. Did I what? Did you get drugged too? Did Jesse drug you? Did Jesse give you coffee by any chance? <laughs> oh, I know. Did no graveyard did me dirty. Uh, but the episode, I don't know if it's true or not, but I read somewhere that they were low on budget because they were saving for the last two seasons. Uh, they, the budget on the last two episodes were uh, a, a lot, and so that they wanted to shoot in one location. Uh, with a limited limited amount of characters to save on the budget, mm. and so they decided to do an episode on like character development and like yeah, it was you know, character type development thing, so. exactly <clears throat> right. And they probably but, had a contract for a certain number of episodes, and so it's not like they could just yes. remove one and have it be mm-hmm. like all right because yeah. the TV schedules and all of that stuff are set up. This is like pre like major streaming. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, well, that so, kind of makes me like, dislike it then. No. Well, not if they go ahead and they had like, all right, well, we have to make an episode. And so then as long as the writing is good about it. But I don't know if they ever, a, just, ever, ever explain it. It was a good writing. I mean, they can they can still say, hey, we don't have the budget right now to go shoot out in the desert, to shoot here and there. So let's just write a really good episode about, you know, Walt's paranoia, his control, his love for Jesse, this and that and the other. Uh when I first saw the episode, I didn't like it at all. I was just like, "This is stupid. This doesn't. It's just. It doesn't. It's just up. buying time." Mm-hmm. But as I watched it like eight times over the last ten years, I actually really like it now. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's it's kind of a. We all think we know Walt, but that's kind of like a you. a view into what's going on in Walt's head. That or, was like yeah, Walt from episode one. <laughs> You Maybe, know. yeah, like it's something like a play on the saying like, oh, to be a fly on the wall of that place. <laughs> and so it's like to be a fly on the wall in the inner workings of the dynamic between Walt and Jesse, I guess. I don't. <clears throat> well, Jesse was it's... definitely super pissed that they weren't cooking. But then at, at the end, when he was up there borderline risking his life mm-hmm. with the fucking ladder on two wheeled carts. Too mobile. We, trying, yeah. trying to, to to go ahead and do this just because Walt wanted him to, and I think that he tried to drug Walt so that they can go cook. 
which is, is what ended up happening anyways and clearly was successful at doing it but he still then went after the fly and killed the fly yeah yeah you know, so no, like so he, he cares about walt and yeah so he was and walt really cares a, about him yes and like i also think that jesse does not need to go ahead and skim off the top and steal from yeah from that's walt. what i was gonna if say there was oh. like if there was extra product and Jesse was like, "Look, like you know, could go." Ahead. And he was he was upfront and honest with him. Yeah, Walt may be like, "No, it's too much of a risk." Yeah, but maybe Jesse would have been able to yeah. convince him. Maybe and he would have been able. And was like, you know, there's no real issue here. This is just a little extra product. But Walt obviously caught on, and I, I'm pretty sure. Well, he 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 thinks he's pretty positive that you, the reason for the uh, for the shrink is that he's um that so. that Jesse's taking it. And so instead of accusing him, he was trying to tell him that like I can't protect you from these people. Cuz he loves them. He does. You know what? I think oh. oh. Yeah, say gay, sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, no. I've I've talked a lot. Sorry. I just think that conversation with Gus scared um Walt too like mm. I think even though Gus like I, I think Walt read through Gus's like cool demeanor and I think it scared him because I think Walter honestly thought he was going to walk into that conversation and then like be um, like an equal to Gus and Gus made it very clear like that is not the case and I think that also scared him because as much as like look what's what Hank is living through right now and that's because Gus sanctioned that like that could be Walter at any time uh-huh. that could be Jesse at any time and so what I think maybe too this is just everything crashing down on him because he realized that at any given time and yeah and he's like worried for Jesse because he doesn't like you don't understand what Gus like he knows right. things type thing and Walt is like very calculated and analytical but also clearly emotional a little bit. And I think when he had the meeting with Gus and he realizes that Gus is pretty much like a sociopath and he is just never shows any emotion. Nothing is just clearly logic and analytical. And there will be no reasoning uh, with him at all. And that he is definitely would kill Jesse or kill his wife, kill his family, kill him if, like, it no longer benefited him. Yep. I think Hank may have recognized that at that meeting, like like Katie said before, that, like, they, they're, they're not equals in uh, humans, humanity, I guess. They're not, they're not equal... Maybe they are. They can be equal um, in in calculating things, but they are not equal as as people. Gus does things just because that's what will uh, will work out in the end. Although I guess you could argue that Walt is doing that too. I think just there's this emotion behind Walt, and there's no emotion behind Gus. No, what I when if you ask me. Uh, if Gus, before this episode, if Gus caught uh, Jesse st- uh, stealing the meth, I think that Walt would not do anything about it. But after after this episode, I would think that if Gus knew that Jesse was going rogue, I think Walt's going to do anything to help him out. Even like maybe, I don't know if he does that, but like even like maybe... Lo- lowering his price or something like that just to uh help jesse after this episode i think that walt has uh, i don't know if it's love for jesse or maybe guilt it's more of a guilt feeling because he's uh, well i think he loved good. jesse before the thing stuff happened with jane yeah i know like you like could you... after jane of it's way more now i think know? it's love and guilt but I'm also wondering if that the uh, him Walt saying that uh, I can't protect you 
um, is is foreshadowing into that he will try and may be successful in protecting Jesse. Maybe. Well, I mean, what Which, happened with maybe. Hank? Because he he said in that meeting that he knew that it was supposed to be him, but mm-hmm. that somebody tipped the cut the brothers off to Hank, mm-hmm. and so that happened to Hank. Hank is sitting in a hospital bed right now, practically paralyzed, and yes. that could be Jesse. That could, you, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that he would be able to do if Gus, like he, there was nothing he was able to do with Hank. True. Yeah. True. Right. The only thing is the phone call to warn him. Well, Gus yeah, warned think, him because I yeah, think we were talking about that he wanted it, it worked out in his favor for the cousins to be eliminated. And uh, the, the right. entire uh, Mexican. The, that's the right. That's right. Yeah. right and now he he has more control over his yeah. territory. Oh, right. And it, so maybe that also tips Walt off because he's like he didn't even give Hank the heads up to. For Hank's benefit, he gave Hank the heads up for his own yes, benefit. Yes, that's what he said. Right, that's exactly what he said. Were, You're right, oh, yeah. yeah. That's what he said when they were at the table in the last episode. Oh, I missed that. How did I miss that? What? Yeah, they said that, yeah. Yeah, they said that. They, they said he could, he could uh, bloody both sides, yeah. you know, make the territory open for Gus and also... Uh, do something for a wall. Cartel, to... uh, pretty, much, pretty much make the cartel be going up against the, the DEA. DEA. Yes, mm-hmm. like a, a and and he'll just be alone. No one's gonna, you know, sniff uh, around him. And, yeah, yeah, he's gonna be alone. That's, yeah, he does talk about that at the just table. constantly playing like calculated moves with zero, z- zero thought into how or zero caring it's gonna into how up. it affects other people's lives. Yes, yes. So Hank yeah, could have died there. Hank does, could have died there, and he wouldn't care, you know. Does did, did they have they alluded yet to Gus ha- having a family? Have we ever have we seen Gus with any family? Mm, no, they've not, not shown anything not like anymore, that. No, not yet. Yeah, so I wonder if Gus has a, has family, a family, or if he doesn't because he doesn't he doesn't want any liability. You know, he doesn't want any any leverage. There's no leverage there to be used against him. I I'm, I'm, I think that we're gonna... Well, yeah, it's still like Gus's backstory is a bit blurry. Maybe they go into that. I don't know. But like... It's like how... He talks you, about how like a there? man provides for his yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's so... He's so ardent about that. And... Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna say either way, but... That's a weird thing for him to say. If he doesn't have a family. But he's that well, manipulative. Like, that's... It's like... That's true. That's true. Yeah, you can that's understand. Such a trope. He's just like he could, he could just be getting Walt to, to cook. You, know? you understand the human mm-hmm. condition that people yeah. will do illogical things out of love and caring for, you know, their family and their friends. Yes. Things that may result in uh, negative consequences because they're not thinking rationally because they're thinking emotionally. Mm-hmm. But it would be. Uh, it would it would it would be something if if Gus had a family, and then some shit happens where he's gonna Gus is gonna go after Jesse because he finds out they're skimming, and then Walt goes ahead and gets his family, or you know somehow Ooh. there's leverage. Then there's leverage against his family, and then he has to go ahead and and wow. react. And then with Gus emotion. just blows up his house with his family in it and he's you like, think no it's way. gonna be a a gus versus wall via the water heater a I, gus I, versus Walt war. i'm kind of up in the air as to whether this is the season of gus and gus is done for at the end of the season or whether gus is a you know a Bigger. long-term character for the next because there's five seasons right last as boss. to whether he's involved yeah, in, so. in 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 four and five uh-huh. are they gonna or are they going to introduce um, somebody else or some other characters? Well, there's only three episodes left in this season, so yeah, we're going to die this season. Uh, well, it has to start unraveling. We'll find yes. out in a couple of weeks. Kathleen is going to come. 
Remember That's Kathleen? What he said? Oh, from the last <laughs> episode? Yeah, well, it's just, <laughs> Kathleen is going to be the, 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 bad, <laughs> the bad guy. <laughs> She's just like, I'm mad. <laughs> oh, my God. No one here has to die. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. All right. It's devolving. All We're right. done. Yes. Yes. It is. yes. It is. Goodbye. Good night. Thanks Bye. for watching. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Thank- yes. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs>